Hey, we're going to talk to you guys about daisy chains today. A lot of people put a daisy chain on their harness for uh, multi-pitch climbing, even sport climbing, so they can clip into the anchor really easily. And there's totally nothing wrong with that. The important thing is to know the right and the wrong way to use it. First thing you want to do is girth hitch it through the way that you would girth hitch your rope through the leg loops and through the waist loops. Never girth hitch a daisy chain through your belay loop because it will wear in the same place all the time and it will drastically reduce the strength of your belay loop. Uh, the other thing that people will mess up on is shortening a daisy chain. So when a daisy chain is long like this, it's basically a double length sling and it holds just as much as any other double length sling out there. Um, fortunately, the little bar stitches here that create all these little loops, these things only hold about 250 pounds and it's really easy to generate that much force even in a little short fall. The daisy chain is a static object, so there's no rope to absorb a fall, a little slip on a ledge, trip over the rope or something, you can easily create that much force. So people will clip into an acre, they'll pull up some, and then they'll have a nice little short daisy chain, but they're actually only clipped through all those little loops. So what we did here is we created a nice mock daisy chain. We just made the loops out of tape here so we could break it easily. It's been clipped into the end, and then I pulled up some slack and I clipped in. And I reached up, I grabbed a piece of gear, whatever, I took a short fall, and now I'm on the ground. Because all I was clipped into is these little tiny loops that hold 220 pounds. And they really didn't get the job done. So instead, what I want to do is I want to clip in with my locking carabiner to the anchor there, lock this guy down, and then I'm just going to take another carabiner, clip it to the loop where I want it, pull that up and clip it to the locker. Now I'm good to go. I'm still clipped in through the main loop with my locking carabiner. It holds a couple thousand pounds. There's no way I'm going to generate that much force. If I do fall and break these little bar stitches, I'm just going to stop at that locking carabiner there and I'm good to go.